Okay, hi everybody. Um, it's GSOC 2024 office hours. Today is Thursday, July 18th. And um, so on the agenda, we have the usual um, updates from our GSOC contributors. And then I wanted to go over some upcoming milestones as well. Um, is there anything else that we need to add to the agenda? We're good? Okay. Okay, so um, I guess uh, before we start, um, so last week's Jenkins online meetup, I thought everybody did an excellent job with their slides and their demos. So thank you so much. And uh, so I, I also wanted to open it up to our GSOC contributors and see if there's any comments, questions that you might have at, for that event or even our mentors. No, no questions, no comments. Okay. All right, so we'll move right into our um, updates and uh, any challenges, roadblocks from our contributors. So I know that our um, that Philip can't make it today. And let me see, is Alex on? Does Alex? No, his no? internet connection is not stable. Oh, okay. And okay. Noor won't be able to make it either. Okay. Thanks, Bruno. So, um, so Sridhar, we'll hand it over to you for your update. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Can you hear me, right? Yes, I can hear you. Uh, okay. So, in the past three days, so in the, in the past release, we just made our first release of the tool. And yeah, we can just use this uh, link to just to download the tool and you can just try it out and let us know the feedback. The second thing is we are just working on the minor improvements for the past couple of days. And thanks to Bruno for making upon so much of efforts in trying out the tool to make some kinds of improvements with it. Also, we had just made, completed the GH integration. So now we have the, a continuous workflow of uh, starting from the cloning and Till the process of creating a PR in the respective repos. And finally, in the following week, we'll just also add more recipes for the tool, which is the main aim of uh main aim main aim for us in the following week. And also we will just update the documentation and some other minor improvements from the issue stations opened by the mentor. Yeah, that's it from my side. Other than this, I, I had no other roadblocks on my side. Thanks, Sridhar. Um Okay, so Nora won't, can't be here. So, um, Chris, is there anything you wanted to add for Nora? Um, I think it's like the app has come along quite well. Uh, we've done a bag of code reviews for that. And um, next thing to do would be to train the model and to, to make it like more accurate, if okay. possible. Yeah. Okay. Great, thanks. Um, Shlomo. How's it going? Um, so I'm sure you guys also have a demo of the site during the presentation last week. Mm -hmm. So it's, yeah. it's uh, really coming together. And I think this this past two weeks, I've just been focused on kind of improving the site reliability, the speed of it being loaded, um, like just fine tuning all the components, making sure it's like usable for the user. and then in the coming weeks, we're going to be shifting focus to the dependency graph, which should take probably the longest time out of out of any part of the project. So it's a, a ton of code we have to refactor and and kind of like understand what's going on there. But overall, things are going well, so I'm happy with the progress. Awesome, glad to hear that. Um, Don Yang. And uh, uh, I have been submitting the pull request, and uh, currently I'm waiting for the Alex feedback. And uh, um, but in the group meeting, uh, the Alex said it may be after the um the Philip uh, pull request merge, and uh, during um, the waiting period and uh, I will be focused on solving the RPU issue and uh, 3800 and uh, I will try my best to do it and before the finish. 
Okay. And then as far as like, um, do you, or how comfortable do you feel about, because I know we talked about this before, um, do you feel comfortable with the direction that we're, that you have a plan going forward for the second half of the program? You're, how comfortable are you with that? Yes, uh, and I began change my mind uh, to focus on to find more things to do, not not just the waiting. The mentor gave me the um, gave me the things I should do, and I spend so so that's the reason why I chose to resolve the uh, appeal issue and and the, the, this one have already. Uh, lied in the list for one year, but I, I, I think I, I could, I can try my best to do it, and that is one of my achievements, right? Okay, so I know, so Alex isn't on, but perhaps our other mentors would, or Bruno might have advice for Don Yang, additional input. Um, not from me, sorry. Okay. Chris, maybe. Um, I think mean, I think the project goal is like um now is defined, so it's not so much of a worry as before. Like we didn't know what to do next for the project. Hmm. Yeah. So it's a good sign. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. So um, I. On the agenda, I have some upcoming milestones. So um, I wanted to check this with the mentors. Um, are there any plans for us to extend any of the projects beyond um, the end of August? I think from what I heard, like maybe Philip's order might need to get extended by a little bit, but I'm not sure. It has not been confirmed yet with Alex. Okay. Philip. Yeah. Okay. All right, but uh, for other projects, it's no, right? Uh, for me, I think that's in any case a project that will also continue way before the GSOC uh, phase. So for me, there is, let's say, also no, no issue if we decide to, to extend the, the period, but perhaps right now is also difficult to, to say. Okay, all right. Um, just let me know when you guys do make a decision. Okay. So what does it change for the mentors? Just uh, it will postpone the um, uh, evaluation, I guess. E uh, yeah. What else? Okay. Yeah, it'll push out the evaluation and um, it'll also, uh, the GSOC, uh, contributor has to submit their evaluation so that gets pushed out and the work gets pushed out as far mm -hmm. as I know. Yeah. Um, so for right now, what I'm planning is that um, August 19 to the 26th is the final week for the standard coding period. And I'm thinking August 22nd. I, I know we still have some weeks out, but I wanted to get you know this on the agenda and start thinking about it. But our final Jenkins online meetup, I'm suggesting for it to be August 22nd. Um, if anybody has issues, please let me know. Okay, um, just you can let me know via Slack or shoot me an email or let me know in the next meeting. Um, but that's my suggestion. August 22nd, August 26th to September 2nd is our uh, mentor's final evaluation ship submission. And again, that's for the standard coding period. Um, and then the final blog for each project, um, I'm putting here ETA August 26th. And I added some samples for our contributors here to see as well. But that's what we like to get from you. Um, is there anything else that I'm missing, Chris or Bruno? I don't think so. Okay. All right. 
Um, we will revisit these dates as we get closer to it, but um, seem, a month seems not too far away. So I thought it'd be good for us to talk, talk about it. Um, and then next week I'm going to be out. So I do not have, I won't have access to internet. So um, we get the day, the, at least that meeting off. So our next meeting will be August 1st. Okay. Okay. Questions from anybody, comments, concerns? All right. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Have a great one. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Have a nice day. You bye too. Bye-bye.